Joe, welcome to this week's episode. And in this week, we're going to talk about multiple streams of income as an artist. Now, if you want to be a full-time working artist and you want to have a successful art business, you need to be generating revenue through multiple sources. Okay, And it's funny how little amounts add up and the more of those little amounts of income that you can start to generate through your art business, the better off you're going to be in the long term. Now, the obvious income source for most artists is that they get a piece of artwork that they've just created and they place it for sale in a marketplace somewhere, either a gallery or an online gallery or their own website and they sell it, right? So that's that's one income stream is having direct sales of your artwork. Problem is, as I talked in the last video, that's not a good business model. Um, We talked about the need to create assets that you can leverage over time to create multiple streams of income. So if your only way of generating income in your art business right now is the sale of your work, then you don't really have a business, right? What you have is a promotion of your current work. Now, the downside of your business being structured in that way is that anytime there's a drop in production, your income is going to suffer. So if you're currently producing 100 pieces a year and selling most of those, and that's your sole income stream, what happens when your ability to be able to produce that artwork is diminished for three or four months, right? Um, and, And don't think it won't happen to you, it happens to everybody. So I know one artist whose business model is based entirely around huge levels of production. You know, he's producing 10 to 20 pieces a day or more, um, which is great. He makes a fortune out of doing it, right? As an artist, he's doing incredibly well. What happens the day that he gets sick, you know, and and that whole machine then grinds to a halt? So it's good to be making good money right now from sales of your income, uh, of your art. But if that's your sole source of income, you need to start thinking about adding other income streams to your business. Every successful business out there has more than one income stream, I think you'll find if you look closely. Also, if you look closely, most of the successful artists out there, uh, you know, I go and look at lots of artists' websites and I'm studying the market and what successful artists are doing very closely. And nearly every single one of them, from what I can identify, has multiple streams of income. So, You know, the obvious and first one to start with is selling your artwork. Great. Get that going and get some momentum around that. And then as soon as you've got momentum, start looking at how you can lay up other income streams to that. So in the last video, we talked about asset creation. So there's a few obvious things, you know, get high, high res, high quality images of your artwork, your originals, um, and then you can sell your originals, but then you've got the image, which is an asset. Okay. And you can leverage that asset into other income streams. So prints. There's lots of different ways of getting prints, and we'll go into that in another video. Uh, Merchandise, I think, is a big one, okay? So you can put your images onto, um, well, I'll use Ken Doan as an example, right? Ken Doan, the Australian artist who did the Opera House and lots of paintings like that, iconic sort of images of Australia. And he put them on T-shirts, dresses, um, duvet covers, pillows, and, you know, to to the dismay of a lot of real artists and the art world, um, he was merchandising and productizing his images, the assets that he owned, he created them and he turned them into assets and he was able to leverage that asset for greater income. And um, you want to think about that because that becomes another income stream and I'm pretty sure for Ken's business that was probably became his dominant income stream. Okay, Other income streams are teaching. So a lot of successful artists teach as well, nearly all of them, because Sales of your artwork will be up and down, up and down, up and down, right? One minute you're really hot, but the next minute you're not, right? And and very few people remain hot selling their art for 20 or 30 years. Um, I've mentioned it before. I know artists who were successful in the 80s, but then the market changed and the world changed and people's desires and expectations and tastes changed. And those artists who do well in the 80s 
didn't sell as well in the 90s, the noughties, and whatever we're in now, right? The teenies. <laughs> um, they, they just don't sell as well as they used to. So their income's got to have dropped if they don't have multiple streams of income. So if you're just relying on selling art, it's going to be up and down. It's going to shift, right? So if you go and look at all the you know, high-level successful artists, so many of them have teaching art as part of their practice. Uh, they teach workshops or they do what I do. They film themselves painting and they turn that into online courses and DVDs and that's happening more and more with very good artists. I know one um, Australian artist right, who is world class as an artist but his artwork doesn't sell that well but he spends six months of the year teaching. Right, He travels around the world doing workshops and teaching and he's now moving into online teaching as well um, and DVDs and things like that. Uh, I know of other very successful Australian artists who have created books, you know, books that are talking about their artwork and the inspiration, but also step-by-step how-to type books as well. And that's another way of creating an income stream. Now, a lot of these things are dependent on you having an audience for you, right? You've got to build an audience. So I'm going to talk about building an audience in other videos. These income streams won't work if you have no audience, right? So it's a two-edged sword. You've got to produce artwork, you've got to create assets in your business, and you've got to be able to build an audience as well. And we'll talk about that. Uh, but the more momentum you get, the easier it becomes to build that audience. And, and the more revenue you generate in your business, you can reinvest into advertising, and, and it all just becomes easier, right? But what I want you to start thinking about for today is how can you create multiple streams of income in your art business? What are the income streams that you can identify that would suit you, okay? Um, I really believe that if you wanna be a full-time working artist, that teaching is a key part of that. That's why I created our More Certified Instructor Program, um, where we help you become a, a certified art teacher. Because what teaching does is it gives you more of a stable income stream. Now, if you've got bills to pay, mortgages like I do, um, you know, car payments and et cetera, you need to have a, a stable income stream. Otherwise, it's too stressful, right? And I've been through that stress, and I'll share my story with you in another video of how I became a full-time artist. Um, but teaching is such a key part of that, and that's why we created that program to help people become, or help artists become art teachers. Um, and you can teach in workshops, or you can create products around that teaching. Uh, there's a lot of you know successful full-time artists I know of now who are doing deals with um, art suppliers, you know, brush makers, and putting their logo and their name on the brushes, so that they create another income stream. Um, start a YouTube channel. You know, you don't make a lot of money directly from your YouTube channel, but it gives you more access. Well, I'm actually getting into how to build an audience, but I generate an income stream off of my YouTube channel. Not a lot, but little bits add up over time, right? I created an ebook. It's up on Kindle, teaching people how to paint, and I generate a small amount of income from that as well. And so when you start to do all these things and create little assets that all build on top of each other, you create multiple streams of income. And if you have, you know, 10 different little streams of income out there, there's an extra thousand dollars a month, okay? So you need to brainstorm all the different ways that you can create multiple streams of income and then have a plan on how you can implement that over the next two to three years so that you build assets that have income streams attached to them. And it'll help you to really become, um, have, a, have a little certainty around becoming a full-time artist. So I hope that helps. My name's Rod Moore. This has been the Art Biz Show. No BS advice on how you can become a full-time working artist. I'll see you next week on the Art Biz Show. Cheers for now.